Hey guys, uh, John here. Coming back at you with uh, day two of hashtag RPG a day 2018. Today's prompt is what do you look for in an RPG? Um, uh, I've given a lot of thought about this um, th throughout the day. Um, when I buy materials, uh, generally I'm thinking about what can I pillage for some other game, but even if, if I don't run a si the system, you know, what can I take from, you know, piecemeal, what type of fiction. Um, that's generally, that's more adventure module stuff than anything, um, or, or scenarios. Um, in terms of systems, uh, I'm looking at probably a number of things. Does, you know, the art look appeal to me, you know, does one part of you know the like art or is the 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 setting or the the premise of, of the game good uh, uh good at least, at least to me i mean as i'm constantly bouncing back ideas from ideas uh some tend to be very weird some tend to be um rather mundane uh you know i love Traditional type D and D stuff, but I love stuff that throws it on set. Uh, Dark Sun, Spelljammer, Planescape, th th those things I've always I've always enjoyed. I've always enjoyed looking them up and finding PDFs of them and, and looking at them. Um, you know, uh, also horror. I'm generally I've always loved horror movies, uh, and I've always tried. I've always been fascinated with putting that in a in a tabletop RPG setting. Uh, I like to think I've gotten better at that over the years running games like Call of Cthulhu and such. But I still have a long way to go to really master it. Um, so that that's kind of, you know, I'm always looking at the setting, the genre of the game. You know, what type of new things appear. Uh, I'm very interested in some of the new stuff by Modifius, you know, Star Trek Adventures, uh, the, the Conan Adventures. The, the Conan role-playing game, uh, the John Carter of Mars one they're coming out with now. I'm, I'm very interested in those because, you know, those are all stuff I have an interest. I've always loved Star Trek, uh, and now I'm, you know, in Conan and John Carter of Mars, I'm just getting into uh, as kind of a reader and just kind of really developing that sense of kind of weird, fan weird science fantasy type stuff, at least in my games. Uh, also, I look at a lot of, you know... I, you know, so yeah, uh, in terms of mechanics of a game, I'm looking for more of a simple, a simple idea, uh, simple is the wrong type of word, I'm looking for a game to, is the game well worded enough for me to get enough of the rules understandable to me so I can, uh, so I can run games and or playing games effectively. Can I get a good candle on the rules? And so, so I don't have to always be looking things up. Or on the rare occasion I do look something up. Can I kind of find it quickly and and caveat kind of have my own interpretation of it? Okay, that's what it says. Can, can, can I switch? I'm trying to get that way right now with Call through 7th edition. Uh, it's, just, it's a lot of stuff to keep straight a little bit, um, which I've always had trouble with Call through in that regard. But it is a pretty simple system and a very open system. Uh, another system, and generally I do run games more than I play. You know, I do, I am much more in the game master's chair than I am in the player seat, but that's okay. You know, I do enjoy running games. That if I, I know my strengths and weaknesses as a person, as a reader, as that. So knowing those and understanding those, and then kind of taking that in a game, I can find the game that best fits me. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of to to summarize what I look for in an RPG. I'm looking at kind of. Does the setting or genre really interest me? You know, horror, weird fantasy type stuff, science fiction, you know, 
Cyberpunk. I'm really looking forward to when uh, the new Cyberpunk tabletop game comes out because I enjoy it. I enjoy, I enjoy the ideas of Cyberpunk. I'm really looking forward to how they update it. Um, and then mechanics, you know. Good uh, wording of mechanics enough that I can get my head around the system. Uh, I also like generally open-ended systems. I like that. I like uh, systems that I can... You know, you can roll dice and the dice roll can be interpreted in a lot of different ways. It's not just kind of a save or suck thing from kind of the D&D &D bane of things, although that is enjoyable. Uh, another, uh, you know, it's part of the reason why I, I didn't really get into Shadowrun that much. It's just, I got, I read the quick start rules once and then I got a beginner box and I just, I couldn't wrap my head around the game. Uh, but maybe that changes. Maybe, maybe uh, play, if I ever get a chance to play in the Shadowrun game, that might change it for me. Um, but yeah. Anyway, uh, thank you all for watching this video. Please give me a like, comment, subscribe, and for RP this has been RPG Day 2018, Day 2. What do you look for an RPG and feel free to leave a comment on this video on what you look for in an RPG or kind of some ideas branching off of what I've said. Anyway, have a good day guys and happy gaming.